In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the Charleston. You're not going to get up and dance or anything. It's just part of the game. We're going to be passing unwanted tiles to opponents at the table. You'll be getting tiles too. It's quite a dance. So at this point, we're going to have everybody look at their tiles. Let's see what we can do for East. I think to build around multiples, I'm going to play consecutive run six, seven, eight, nine, that will use the t most of my tiles building around the seven crack. I'm gonna hold the flower, maybe even the red. So now we know the category that East is gonna focus on. Let's look at South or the next player. It's really east, south, west, and north. Eat soup with nuts, if you want to call it that. Most people who play American Mahjong don't do that. We don't really call them anything, or even player one, player two, player three, and four. We don't really do that. Really, east is the only one with a name. But technically, this is east, this is south, this is west, and this is north. So let's see what we can do for south. I think for South, we should play one, two, three consecutive run. There is a potential for three, six, nine. So I think we could hold the six and the nine too. We're gonna see what we could do now for West. For this player, I think we have a two and a six. Here's a two eight. I'm thinking maybe two four six eight category, or we could do one two three. Either way, we really don't need these three. This would be a really risky thing to do though. All those wins and the dragon. I think we need to decide let's give up the eight two so let's focus on one two three maybe two four six eight let's see what we can do for north I think we should play big odds, five, seven, nine, big odds, or five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, that's too long of a range. Five, seven, nine, big odds. Everybody has seen their tiles and they've made their initial choices. The next part of this game after the deal is something called the Charleston. This is unique to American Mahjong. Basically what's going to happen is we're going to pass three unwanted tiles to each other up to six times. And then there's an optional seventh pass. We're going to pass tiles to the right. Then we're going to pass tiles across, then to the left. That's the first Charleston. That is obligatory. Let's go ahead and do it. So I'm going to pick three tiles that I don't want, and I'm going to pass them to the right. And you just put them upside down in a row in the corner towards that 
player to your right. We were going to play six, seven, eight, nine consecutive run. We're not going to pick a hand yet. We're just going to stay at the category level and collect six, seven, eight, nine. But we're going to pass three tiles and you want to pass defensively. Try not to pass the same category, the same numbers, no pairs, no flowers, things like that, because you don't want to feed into your opponent's hand. We're going to talk more about strategy later in the playlist, but for now, we're just going to pick three tiles and pass. East passed right, so now we're waiting for our pass from this player, but we're going to take it one player at a time. So let's pretend we're south. We're going to pass these and I'm going to put them to the right, just like that. This player, we're going to pass, oh, that's really risky. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Maybe they could even use that red. Let's break these up that way we can pass something fairly safe. Now let's pretend we're this player. Okay, everybody has made their decision and they've placed their first right pass to the corner by the other player. So you pass your tiles to the right. That's called first right. Now each player is going to pick up their pass. So this player got one tile. Their eight crack. And we're going to pick the next pass because now we got to go across. We're just going to leave them here for a minute though until everybody has incorporated their passes. So let's pretend like we're south now. They got two tiles. I call those keepers. So now we need to pick three tiles to pass. This player is focused on one, two, three. We'll just hold those tiles for a minute and pretend like we're west. They didn't get any tiles. No keepers. We can just pass those right along. So we'll just put them right there. Now we're going to pretend like we're north. They got two keepers, a six and an eight. Now we need to pick tiles to pass. Maybe they could play five, six, seven, eight, or still big odds, five, seven, nine. There are shared tiles. Sometimes you can play two categories, at least until you run out of discards. Okay, everybody incorporated their first pass and they've picked three tiles to pass again. We're gonna go across. So 
So let's pretend like we're each of these players and see what happens to their hand based on these passes. They got two keepers, maybe one, the nine bam. They did get a five though. I think we were gonna play big odds or consecutive run now that we have the five. Let's give up the red for our next pass. You wanna keep identifying tiles to pass. That will move the Charleston along because you need to go right across and then left. So always keep an eye on what you're gonna be discarding next. Let's see what we can do for South. We got one keeper at the moment and we have tiles we can pass. You don't have to pick a hand until you run out of discards. We're focused on consecutive run using ones, twos, and threes. Let's see what West got. They're kind of collecting ones, twos, and threes also. And they got a three and a four. And they do have tiles they can pass. If we have one, two, three, one, three, two, four, maybe that red dragon could come in handy. This is a little, it's a little risky to pass two wins together because there are blocks of tiles that you use wins together like that. Eat soup with nuts or news, northeast, west, south. So let's see. One, two, three, one, three, two. This is really the strength of the hand, the multiple. So if we focus on the two, we could do two, three, two, three, four. Maybe we could keep the red dragon because it corresponds and we could do one of the knitted hands. Let's give up the one so that we can pass defensively. We'll put these in order there. So let's focus on those. Let's see what North got. So they may be playing consecutive or big odds, five, seven, nine, or six, seven, eight, nine. They got a six crack and a couple tiles to pass. So they only have two tiles to pass. This is when you pick a hand. You don't pick a hand till you run out of discards. That's called an adaptive style of play. So we're going to talk more about that later in the lesson playlist. I'm thinking we could have them play the hand that is a second from the bottom under consecutive run. They have a gap though, no seven crack. Any three suits, any five consecutive numbers as an option. Let's have them keep the sevens and the nines. Everybody incorporated that pass. Now we're gonna do first left. So we'll put all the tiles to the left. Let's be east.
they're maybe playing big odds, five, seven, nine, or five, six, seven, eight, or six, seven, eight, nine consecutive run. So they got a six and they have two tiles to pass. So we need to pick a hand. I'm thinking consecutive run is the strongest possibility for them. They do have five, six, seven, and a north. So let's focus on that. Or we could hold the flower and they could play five, seven, nine, and one suit. Let's keep those and pass those three. Okay, we're going to see what we can do for South. They got a keeper, a one. And they have two tiles to pass, so we have to pick a hand. I'm thinking they could play the second hand down or the third hand down. So we're going to give up the one cracks. See what we can do for West. No keepers. We can just pass these. Let's see what we can do now for North. We might be able to use the Red Dragon. Let's keep the wet red dragon and pass the six. So everybody has incorporated their first left. We went right across left. That was the first Charleston, which is obligatory. Everybody has to do those three passes. Now, if any player at this table could not make a complete pass, there is something called passing blind. Passing blind is basically when a player will we'll just pretend like this is their first left and this two. We'll backtrack here in a minute. Let's just say so they could only pass two. So they're going to take their two and they're going to put it over to the left for their second left. Because next we're going to go left across right. So for this pass, the, the first left, basically the last pass of each Charleston, you could pass up to three blind. In this case, we're going to pass one blind because they have two tiles they want to give up. From the incoming three, they're going to take one, not look at it. That's why it's called passing blind. And then they're going to add it to the three so they have a full pass. And that is what would go to the next player. That is called passing blind. And then they would take their two and put it in their hand. So I'm going to back this up again. Now, let's say that they didn't want to pass any they could take all three and just pass it along. Don't look at it. You're passing blind. So you just take the whole pass and give it to the next player. That's called passing blind. These rules are on the back of the card, just in case you forget. You can pass blind up to three tiles on the first left and the last right, basically the last pass of each Charleston. The other rule about the Charleston that you need to know is that any player at this point can stop the second Charleston. The second Charleston as a whole 
is optional. There should be no pushback from any players at the table if anybody wants to stop the Charleston. It is the prerogative of any player at the table to stop the Charleston. Now, it's best to continue because we're passing three tiles three times. That's nine tiles that you would be turning down to better your hand. So there are strategies around passing blind and stopping the Charleston. And you can look for that later in the video playlist. In this case, we're going to pass fully. Everybody's going to pass three. So we're going to keep going. It's customary for someone at the table to say, is everybody ready for the second Charleston? Or does anybody want to stop the Charleston? So try to train yourself to ask that question just in case somebody wants to stop it. And don't proceed unless everybody's in agreement. Any one player can stop the Charleston. No questions asked. But not in this case, let's keep going. So we're gonna do the second left. Now when you do the second left, it's customary to stack the pass. Some people call that a pyramid. So if you stack your second left, it indicates that you're now going into the second Charleston. Once you head into the second Charleston, you have to complete it. You cannot stop it in between. Once you proceed, you've got to go through all the rest of the passes. So we're going to second left, then we're going to go across, and then we'll do the final right. So east passed their second left. Now we're going to pass for south. Let's see what east got. No keepers. We'll just pass those. Let's see what South got. No keepers. Let's see what West got. They got a four, two, four, one, two, three, three, four. We do have tiles that maybe we could pass. Let's look at the card. Two, four, two, four, two, four, six. They do have some evens potential here. Two, four, six, two, four. They could use this as the eight, maybe. What about two, four, six, eight news? Let's hold the two because maybe we could play like numbers with twos. Let's give up the red dragon, the three, and the one. Let's pass those three. Let's see what North got. They got a six dot and a nine bam. They have two fours and a red dragon. I would not pass like numbers. That's almost as bad as passing a pair. I highly advise against it. This red dragon isn't the right dragon for their big odd options. I think we should give up the six dot 
and focus on 579 or 56789, 5 through 9 in mixed suits. So we just did the second left. Now we're going across. Let's see what East got. Let's keep that red dragon. Maybe they could play the 579 hand with dragons. Let's give up the north. And pass these three. Let's see what south got. I still think the second or third hand down is good for this player. So let's pass one, four, six. Let's see what West got. They got a six and a north. Oh, look at that. Two, four, six, eight news. That would be the last hand in two, four, six, eight. Let's pass those three. Let's see what north got. Eight crack, five bam. They have two tiles to pass. They do have all the nines. Maybe they could play like numbers with nines. There is a like numbers with nines hand with news. Maybe we could keep the south and just reassess. Let's pass these three. Everybody has incorporated their cross pass. Now we're going to do last right. This is when you can pass blind up to three tiles if you want. You just can't look at the incoming tiles. You just pass them right along up to three, no questions asked. In this case, everybody's going to pass three. Let's see what East got. They got a keeper. Six crack. Let's pass these three. I'm kind of thinking they could play the consecutive run hand with dragons. This would be the fourth hand down. They could even play a pair hand maybe, or if they get jokers, maybe they could play a quint, five of a kind. There's a one suit, five of a kind hand. Let's see what we can do for south. I'm kind of thinking the second hand down is going to be best, even though there's a gap with no four crack. They do have a joker. Let's pass these three. Let's see what we can do for West.
They got a keeper. Four bam. Two, four, six. This will be the eight news. And we have three tiles to pass. Let's see what North got. One three in one suit, five seven in a second suit, and nines in a third suit. Or like numbers with nines. Let's pass these three. Everybody just incorporated their last right. Now we do the optional cross pass. This pass is negotiated with the player across from you and it is optional. That's why it's called an optional cross pass. You can pass up to three with the player across from you, but it has to be mutual. So if I only want to pass two, my opponent can only pass two. If I want three, we would pass three. If I want one, we would pass one. So it has to be mutual. And we'll talk more about strategy when it comes to the Charleston later in the playlist. In this case, let's have everybody pass all three. Let's see what he's got. They did get a one, and there is a one, three, five, seven, nine potential in one suit. They could use the Joker for the missing three. You never know. We have three discards that we can start with. So they ended up with either consecutive run, most likely, or they could switch to something in the odd category in one suit, or maybe even a pair hand. Let's see what we can do for South. They do have some potential with the four dot, so let's keep that. That could be something useful for a consecutive run. One through five, they are missing a five dot though, so they'll have to draw that. I think they probably have three discards and a pair to get rid of, or about four discards. We'll see. Let's see what we can do for West. They fill the gap with the eight bam, right there. They have two discards, two, four, six, eight news. We need a south and an eight and a two. This would be the last hand under two, four, six, eight. Let's see what we can do for north. They got a one crack. Maybe that mixed suit one, three, five, seven, nine hand could work. So they could still maybe play something with one, three, five, seven, nine, even one suit maybe. I think I would start by getting rid of these three. The Charleston is done. We just incorporated that cross pass. So the game now moves into phase two, the pick and discard phase of the game. I'll be sharing strategy in regards to the Charleston later in the lesson playlist. Between now and then, if you have any questions, write them in the comment section below the video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks
be keepers.